me now, Congressman Lloyd Doggett. His district spans from San Antonio to Austin. I see you uh, bundled up there, sir. Congressman, welcome. Thank you so much for, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you very much for the coverage of this disaster that you provided. Of course. It is, it is what we need to be doing day in and day out until this thing gets fixed. I know that your power, Congressman, has been out since Monday, 2 a.m. How are you doing? And, and it's my understanding your daughter actually had to rescue you. Well, I've been very fortunate. Yes, we did have a sudden power outage. Uh, finally, it's been restored a few hours ago. But as you can see from my attire, it's still a little cool inside. But, you know, we've been so much fortunate than the people that have been calling our office from San Antonio and Austin and in between. Uh, the number of people that are suffering out there is tremendous. Uh, our state government has failed us. Our local leaders, our mayors, our county judges, just as they did with the COVID epidemic, they're working overtime to try to make up the difference. And now Texas, with state leaders that are always attacking the federal government, are relying on assistance from the federal government that we're calling for uh, to try to bail them out of a situation that should never have occurred, that could have been prevented and uh, uh, adequate notice provided, but they just did not do that. I want to come back to your point on failure in just a second, but I really want to highlight people's stories. I know you're talking to your constituents. I mean, uh, you know, as you mentioned, pipes are bursting. There was this boil water advisory for people who were lucky enough to have water. I was reading this morning. I was sitting in a, you know, here in New York, fortunate to just be sitting in, in my dentist appointment this morning, reading in one of the papers about how people in Texas are having to learning learning how to boil snow safely. Like this is where you are right now. What are well, some of the stories yeah. you're hearing? Well, the, the stories that have concerned me the most have come from those with disabilities or seniors with medical problems, reliance on oxygen, uh, not being able to get the help that they needed. We have moved very much from a, an energy problem, an electric problem, to a water problem now. Uh, and uh, uh, What do you so mean by that the, specifically? Flooding? Well, the same. The same, no, the same daughter who uh, did rescue me, uh, who lives only a short distance away, now has no water at all. Uh, more significantly, the lack of water pressure uh, affects the ability of our firefighters to respond, and immediately it affects hospital heating systems, so that uh, one area hospital already evacuated some of its patients. Uh, others have called on us to get tanker trucks out to provide the water that leads to the steam that allows for the heating of our hospitals. All over, there is an issue now that there are uh, boil your water alerts from San Antonio and every community right on up to the north end of Austin. Uh, there's a question of where people will get the water they need for drinking uh, for everyday needs. There's not an ample bottled water supply here. Uh, and uh, so folks are, are trying to get by as best they can. You know, I was talking to an energy expert who was also in a lot of layers yesterday talking to me from Texas, and he was saying to me, you know, because I think a lot of people are sitting and watching, they're thinking, well, why is Texas, fair, you know, getting the brunt of this? And he was saying, you know, Brooke, there, there's, a, there's an east power grid, there's a west power grid, and there's a Texas power grid, right? That, that, part of the, the Texas ethos is essentially that, you know, it's that pioneering spirit. It's that we can, we can handle it ourselves. But in this case, you know, because you all have your own grid, you can't, you know, lean on your neighbors for help. And I'm just wondering, you know, w when this storm ends and you have still all these pressures, uh, problems between, you know, water, food distribution, et cetera, what needs to happen? You pointed to state leaders who, who failed. What needs to happen so this never happens again? You know, the response of our governor, instead of uh, addressing people to explain the situation, the dire circumstances we were in, was to go on uh, the, pro the broadcast of uh, over on Fox of one of President Trump's cheerleaders uh, and use the opportunity to attack renewable energy. Uh, this is Which we know is factually incorrect. Well, and indeed, uh, just within the last few hours, ERCOT, the Energy Reliability Council of Texas, which is that independent grid, said the reason they were able to restore more power to people here within the last few hours, perhaps to my house as well, is because of solar power. Uh, solar, wind, of which Texas is the number one producer, have contributed greatly to our success. And the attempt of Republican officials, particularly the governor and some of my congressional colleagues, to attack renewables 
and just continue to uh, spout out their fossilized thinking that we can rely solely on fossil fuels uh, is a serious blunder and, and a misdirection. What we need is cooperation across our country to address the climate crisis, and that's what they're refusing to do, to follow the science and know that, that this is not the last crisis we will face right. if we do not get a right. better handle on it. Speaking of serious blunders, and I'm, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, I truly want to hear your response to all of this. You know, your, your colleague on the other side of the aisle in the Senate, uh, Texas Senator Ted Cruz, uh, has confirmed that, yes, he did up and leave his, his home, his constituents to take this, you know, trip to Cancun with his family. Uh, after repeated attempts, the senator has finally issued the statement, so let me just read everyone part of it. He says, with school canceled for the week, our girls asked to take a trip with friends. Wanted to be a good dad. I flew down with him last night and I'm flying back this afternoon. My staff and I are in constant communication with state and local leaders to get to the bottom of what happened in Texas. We want our power back, our water on, and our homes warm. My team and I will continue using all our resources to keep Texans informed and safe. Congressman Doggett, what would you like to say to Ted Cruz? Well, I think the most important thing is to be a good senator, uh, and it's disappointing. Uh, it really sends out a message that there's one uh, standard for the jet setters and one standard for the rest of us. I think he really fails to recognize how much people are suffering, uh, what a failure has occurred here under our Republican state government, uh, and the need for everybody to pitch in and do all they can to get people the water and the electricity that they desperately need. Congressman Lloyd Doggett, thank you so much, sir. Stay as warm as you can. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. This uh, brutal weather.